Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So first war of season 19, uh, first time facing Stubborn as well because we didn't get any chances to play against it in off season. And I'm starting out on path 8. Uh, we're up against a Regal and I'm not even gonna lie, it is quite a big mismatch. Uh, those guys are at 37 million, but they're doing an awesome job clearing them up thus far. Obviously, ASR is significantly larger as an alliance, and uh, yeah, this wasn't like the most close or competitive war, but nonetheless, we're gonna get a good chance to kind of like check out the good, uh, <laughs> quote unquote, good nodes and fights. Anyway, so I did put on, on some decently strong boosts here because I didn't want to die in the very first kind of like fight and uh obviously this is also a new lane new nodes and basically here is that a buff imbalance power struggle where i get power drain debuffs placed on me whenever uh, my opponent gains buffs so it's slowly going to power drain me but with mystic dispersion with dr doom's abilities i should be able to counter it and uh he has suicide master is active there as well i already started the fight with a small mistake there but it's not kind of like the biggest of deals and uh yeah since the suicide master is out there i don't even want to bother too much kind of like dropping my game plan i just want to hit her a bit and let her drop some more special attacks and that's about it because uh, like that it's making it quite easy like there's not much to worry i'm just gonna drop my level two and the fight should be over here uh without even a need to go for my level three and that power drain didn't seem like too unmanageable especially considering that doom gains those extra power gain buffs against champions who he can nullify power gain from and he has missed dispersion and his own power gain so it seemed fairly manageable there now again how bad uh buff imbalance again and blood in war so basically uh he's gonna whilst i have a debuff which i'm pretty much gonna always have the debuff uh he's gonna have a passive fury here i accidentally triggered that stubborn which is very annoying but uh still uh, and get rid of it and then I just drop my level 1 and uh, this fight is also obviously Hyperion against Dr. Doom is a very good matchup for Dr. Doom there's like hardly anything Hyperion can do that uh, will make this fight uh, unbearable so to speak because you can not only nullify but you can only gain uh, basically steal Hyperion's power gain buffs and uh, you have power control your own you have class advantage so Doom has everything going on for him here to finish out the fight quite quickly and uh yeah so that is pretty much just what i do here and go for another level one because why not I accidentally triggered that uh indestructible so i had to take another parry uh parry and then medium heavy and go into level three and i think that will pretty much finish this fight out uh without too much problem so the first couple of fights were relatively easy i wouldn't necessarily think that those were like the trickiest placements that i could have faced on those nodes as well and uh additionally obviously medus had suicide masteries on so that was super helpful and uh now we have void uh, as like a mini boss kind of like for the right section he has matador buff imbalance as well and called turkey and my plan here is uh, just to wing it with Nick. I'm not gonna bother baiting out special attacks if I have to eat level 3, I'll eat level 3, that was the plan anyways. And I'm just gonna go in, uh, straight up block everything uh, if he shoots special attacks or whatever, and just gonna finish all my combos with the lights to put those bleeds on him, and uh, as we can see, the fight is over in like 21 seconds there with Nick Fury without much trouble. Obviously, that is a rank 3 6 Nick Fury, and I have some boosts active and max deep wounds and all that good stuff, so he does do a significant amount of damage. Now, initially, I did want to bring in Medusa in my team, but then I changed my mind, and uh, because of that, obviously, I also had to wait for somebody else to deal with the Sentinel. But the reason why I wanted to bring Medusa was because I'm going to have Vision in Section 2, but then I figured out Dr. Doom can just deal with that Vision. So, anyways, long story short, uh, this is already the next morning, and I'm uh, ready to clear my side. This is just after that... Uh, app crashing issue so this is basically as soon as the app went back online i had moved to the position where i had to be but i hadn't actually done my section 2 fights when that error 
started occurring and MCOC started crashing. But anyway, so now we are on path 7 in uh, section 2 and he has spite and powerful from afar. So whenever I do uh, go far away from him, he gains a power gain buff, which is kind of handy for Dr. Doom because not only it can fuel my Mystic Dispersion, uh, I also can nullify it and gain a power gain buff of my own. And uh, dealing with Spite uh, obviously is not the greatest thing in the world, but uh, hey, with Dr. Doom it's definitely not all that difficult for the most part as well. And the only thing I do kind of have to keep in mind is that synthesis that he has and that he can suddenly have a surge of power. But other than that, uh, we're doing quite well here. Again, I'm back at level 3, just another parry heavy to get that stagger for when I trigger next power gain buff. I'm gonna drop a level 3 again <laughs> right here. And uh, yeah, seemingly I have a quite high expectation that Dr. Doom is gonna be kind of like the new king of Alliance Wars. Uh, if this stubborn meta uh, carries on and Dr. Doom seemingly also has quite a lot of nodes where he can shine just like this powerful from far one where he can gain a lot of extra power gain and I think I noticed a whole bunch of other ones where Doom should be able to do extremely well and obviously the fact that Doom is super tanky and has excellent power control will help him deal with stubborn opponents so mainly most people in my opinion will start kind of like designing Alliance War maps to counter Doctor Doom specifically, just like just like they did with Blade uh, when Mystic Wars, well, just after Mystic Wars are crushed, and uh, just like they did with like Quake and Ghost and Chorus after that. So yeah, I think Doom is gonna be the boogeyman of Alliance War officers who are trying to set the defense. And now I have Aspect of Evolution, uh, Mister Sinister. So this fight, I'm going to make some mistakes, it's not going to be uh, pretty, <laughs> it's not going to be great, but uh, we're doing so far so fine. Obviously the problem with Aspect of Evolution is that a couple power bars in, you're pretty much unable to crit and that is annoying, and if you're not critting it's also harder to trigger that uh, power drain against Mr. Sinister. But uh, luckily for as long as I'm able to place debuffs and seemingly this Mr. Sinister has willpower heal active, I was able to still kind of like benefit from those uh, power drain abilities Warlock has. Level 1 here, he's like at 1% and the fight's over. So that was not a pretty fight, but it wasn't overly difficult there as well. Aspect of Evolution though is a nasty node, I absolutely hate it. I really do. And yeah, and also it was worth mentioning that Mr. Sinister is not defensive character, so he doesn't benefit from stubborn defensive tactic. He is control champion, so he benefits from flow instead. And uh, yeah, so now I'm up against Venom, which is again like one with the mini boss on the right section now. Uh, if you can call the mini boss, I don't know, which is the joint fight of the right section. And uh, yeah, uh, obviously Venom is uh, quite a nice snack for Dr. Doom under pretty much any circumstances. Can nullify all his buffs and can power drain him and class advantage and all sorts of good stuff. All sorts of good stuff happening here for Dr. Doom and not much to worry about. Again, after level 3 we're going for medium, medium, uh, then medium, light, 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 medium. And we're going for level... Uh, two. I don't even know why I didn't shoot off my level 2. I probably would have finished the fight, but here I made mistakes twice. I triggered that stubborn, which I hoped I wouldn't, then I got rid of it, and then I magically triggered it again. And uh, at this point I was like, you know what, I don't want to let my fury expire, so I'm just going to throw my level 3, even though I know that he uh, is indestructible. I just wanted to kind of like maintain uh, the fight rhythm, I guess, at this point. And here, unfortunately, he gained a bit of power and he reached his level 2. And there he resisted my heavy attack as well, which is fun, but I was at level 3 already at that point. So a very, very messy finish for this fight, but uh, I still wasn't really in any big danger because power bars were managed, power bars are controlled, and they always can kind of like that safety of Dr. Doom's abilities and tankiness as well. And uh, now I basically asked my alliance uh, which mini bosses I should take on. And uh, the reply was quite simple just take on the ones that you think can solo. And I saw somebody doing the fights on the left side, so I think, so I thought, well, uh, 
I'll just go to the right side and see what happens there and how many I can take. And uh, yeah, so first we're up against this guillotine 2099 and later on we're going to be fighting against that mall man as well. I will not be doing the third mini boss on the right side just because a teammate of mine will quickly swoop in with a rank 5 uh, Venom and obviously Venom against Spider-Man is kind of like a perfect matchup. So it's probably a good thing that he jumped in as I was clearing it and uh, I was out of energy as well. So anyways, this guillotine uh, can be quite annoying. She only has like vigorous assault though and increased regeneration abilities, but guillotine in itself is an annoying opponent. Obviously she would be indefinitely harder uh, if she was placed on slow defensive tactic, but currently she doesn't benefit from any defensive tactic. So I should have a much better chance of dealing with her and uh, there I made a mistake, I accidentally, like, again, that could have been a potential mistake, it was definitely not a great play, but, uh, hey, slowly but surely, those five minute timers, though, I must admit, are so refreshing, not having to worry about the timing out so extensively, obviously, it's still possible, but it's just uh, that you have so much more time than you used to. Yeah, it's very significant change in my opinion for Alliance War and I'm super happy about that which also means that more champions are going to be viable there are going to be more fights where slow and steady can win the race for instance I think potentially uh, OG Vision could make a comeback with his stubborn nodes uh, he has like a lot of attributes that would make him really potent against stubborn defensive tactic and if you don't have to worry about timing out that's just all the better for the guy but the strategy here is quite simple. I'm obviously like largely focusing on parry medium heavy to continuously knock her down and disable that digi cloak. At some point, eventually, I arrive at my level three, so I'm going to take full benefit from that. Looking back at it, I probably should have saved it a bit because uh, there's going to be a big mishap. There's going to be a big uh, stress and uh, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit moment. So here I. Uh, nullify that region which is perfect because otherwise it would be unblockable but uh yeah so that happened <laughs> i was trying to launch my level one before she can activate her level three but she just jumped to that level three button immediately luckily for me doom is such a tank and he survived it man i was so scared eating that level three i thought i'm gonna die in my first war but anyway, so Doom survives that level 3 on 20%, and I drop my level 2, and the fight is over. Thank freaking God, man. <laughs> that was a close one. Uh, yeah, anyway, so that, that definitely got me worried. And now we have Stunning Reflection, Mole Man, and this is actually a quite tricky fight, kind of, if you're not using Mutant Champion, obviously. And you all always need to be careful of uh, parrying by accident. Now, the good thing is, he does have Suicide Master's Act too. So I will be able to capitalize on that. And that's going to be a good reason why I'm going to be able to finish out the fight in the speed that I did. Now here at this point, uh, I trigger Stubborn as well. He's unblockable, <laughs> not fun times. And uh, obviously I cannot stun him because of stunning reflection. And here I forgot about it for a second and I went for a parry and I got stunned instead. And I hit a special attack and now I'm getting riggedy wrecked and there are all sorts of debuffs in my face and everything else. And at this point I kind of decided I'll just try and bait out as many level 1s as I can. And even if I happen to trigger that dex in, on initial part of level 1, I can eat that shock in my block and still make sure he is that recoil. Like here you can see, I just took that shock in my block but then I didn't dash back kind of like well enough. And uh, it's a bit messy, but obviously that's why Nick Fury is such an awesome character, because, uh, well, yeah, he has that second life, and I don't really have to stress about too much. He's doing extremely well. I am getting cornered, though, but uh, it's all good. Uh, here, Mallman goes for another level 1, I block it all. Uh, recall another hit finishes it. Realistically, even if he didn't have suicides, I would have been able to finish that fight. Uh, just because I was just entering my second quote-unquote stage phase. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, the war is still not quote-unquote over, but uh, I don't have any more fights like to do myself. This has been my first uh, Alliance War in the Season 19. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know how did your first war go. Obviously, there are many, many alliances being mismatched quite heavily as well. And uh, that certainly is an issue that hopefully should improve quite shortly. 
but uh, yeah, let me know about your experiences on new map. I personally, currently, at least after the first one, obviously didn't seem too bad. It actually seemed quite a bit easier than the initial map was, well, the previous map was. But it might be also because placements haven't been like figured out uh, too much or, well, I don't know. Uh, but all in all, playing through this defense in particular on this map didn't seem too bad. Either way, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, hit that like button, hit that sub button, and I'm going to catch you guys soon. See ya!